Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com, and today I have just bought for myself an electric pickup truck. Well, not actually today, it was a few days ago, but I'm gonna go over everything here, the what, the how, the why, the where, the how much, so let's just hop into it. Now, what is this thing? This is the Chang Li electric pickup truck. I found this as I was researching uh, different types of electric vehicles for my weekly Alibaba series on electric. If you guys haven't seen this, I write an article every weekend. It's called the Awesomely Weird Alibaba Electric Vehicle of the Week. And basically I just find these oddball, weird, and, and awesome electric vehicles that you can order straight from China. And I feature them. I write a, a funny little story to go with it. It's usually not that funny, but uh, it's kind of a, a fun little exercise in figuring out what kind of weird electric vehicles are out there. So I found this really cool little mini electric pickup truck and it was surprisingly cheap and just looked really full featured. I mean, it's, you know, like a four wheeled vehicle, electric windows, you can uh, put an air conditioner in there. It's got a dumping bed. It's got, uh, you know, windshield wipers, blinkers. It's like, it's a full vehicle. So I saw this thing, I wrote about it, and then I was like, I, I just have to get one of these. It's, it's too cool, I need this in my life. So I started talking to the factory a bit more about it. Uh, they sent me all the different options, I started specking it out, and I basically designed the exact truck that I wanted. It was actually a surprisingly easy process to go through with you know, choosing your options and communicating with the factory. Their English was actually really good, which isn't always a given when you're dealing with uh, Chinese factories. You know, there's obviously varying levels of English out there. So uh, the Chengli factory was great to work with, just made it pretty easy. And what was really cool is once I picked out my truck and I sort of like spec'd it out with all the, the parts and they had my truck ready, I was able to video chat with the factory and they sort of showed me my truck and uh, you know, let me see it go through the process before it was being packaged up. Robert, Hello, Michael. how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, I'm standing next to your, your baby. <laughs> oh yeah? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I clean everything. Oh, it looks beautiful. Oh man, this is the first time I've actually seen it. So this is your car. Yeah, that is beautiful. And this, oh. one, we were, and this one we were sent to you. Unfortunately, today we have car block here. I can't go out. Oh no, you, you can't move the car? We are trying to find the, the car owner to move the car so I can move out. I can drive out. Okay, well I guess some problems are universal. Have you had a chance to test drive it yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you show me the inside of the truck actually? Inside? Yeah, there is a door. Oh, electric windows. I love it. Nice. It's, it's got an infotainment system. I love it. And uh, it also comes with a tool. Oh, nice. Is that a jack? Yeah. We, we, it comes with every car. Not just for the car. American? Yeah, that's the American plug. That's perfect. Yeah, so it looks like it's a 5 amp charger I saw there. Yeah. This is air conditioner. Yeah, I paid extra for the air conditioner. In Florida, that's going to be important. Yeah. And here, at the top, we have extra fans. And you can lift, lift this. Ah, pop so, the sunroof a little, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's for the hydraulic uh, dump in the back? Yeah, let me show you. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with this, Robert. I love that. Oh, man. That is awesome. I am loving it, Robert. This is awesome. You guys have made my day. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So, what else do you want to see? I think, I think that just about covers it. Um, oh, nice, the wiper. Where does the charger plug in? Like, where do I charge it? It's on the right side. 
Ah, got it. Yeah. Ah, it looks like a fuel door. Nice. So imagine uh, the price you paid and look at the results here. Yeah, no, this is great. This is, uh, I mean, the quality looks awesome. It's, it'll be easier to tell once I get it in my hands. But uh, yeah, I mean, the, the features that you get. Yeah. How much do you pay for a normal hookup like this? Well, in the U.S., we don't really have mini trucks like this. No, I'm um, the normal. Oh, a normal? Gasoline. A normal pickup truck? Yeah. Um, probably somewhere yeah. in like the... Twenty-five to thirty thousand would be like a decent entry-level one, and then uh, they go up quickly from there. Okay, so allow me to do a tour. This all, all our product, three wheelers for the farm, and this. So, what are the main uses of these three wheelers? Who who uses those? The farmers, the the constructors. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a good uh, work truck kind of thing. Oh no, I think I lost them. Factory Wi-Fi must not be so good over there. I think you're back. Now it's this. This is our gallery. All right, nice. Got some scooters there. Yeah, two wheelers, and this one for for elders. Yeah, nice elderly mobility scooter. And this Oh, I want to come visit and ride all of these, Robert. This type of three wheelers, uh, it's it's a history of Chani. Chani was was uh, grown on this. Yeah, those this kind of those like your first models, right? The originals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me show you outside. This is our Whoa. product ready to ship. Wow, you guys have a lot of a lot of product there. That is awesome. Yeah, it's our main product. So, how many vehicles? Uh, sorry, how many vehicles do you produce per day? Do you think? I, I really don't know. I've seen this little car, also electric. Our worker, they bought for themselves to to go to work. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a must be nicer than a yeah, open a scooter. Couple, and there are couples more. This one is, is like a Jeep SUV. Right, a, a mini SUV. Yeah, it's also electric. It's got the same front end as mine, as my truck. Yeah. It has four seats. Oh four man, seats. I, I might have to get this next. Uh-oh, I'm going to get a lot of vehicles. Yeah, this one has spare tire. Nice, yeah, because you know when you're off-roading, you need that spare. And uh, this one uh, uh, inside is a motorcycle. Ah, but it's a four-wheeler. Yeah, it's four wheelers, but uh, it's it's a motorcycle. Ah, interesting. I'm sure it feels sportier that way. <laughs> and they're charging it. They're charging it. That's awesome. So these are all the workers' vehicles over here? Yeah, all, all electric. We, we, our government, uh, they banned, they banned uh, gasoline. Only allowed to use electric. Right, yeah, that definitely makes sense. I mean, it's really improving uh, the air quality. This one is mine. Oh, that's yours? Yeah. Nice. Electric. Looks great. How fast does it go? 60 kilometer per hour. 60 kilometer per hour? So it's about 36 miles an hour. Nice. Nice little pocket rocket. Maybe maybe later when someone moves the car, you'll be able to just take a quick video no, showing it driving? No, no later. It moved. Oh, it moved. Perfect. It moved. Already. All right. Now Perfect. Is there a ramp there? Oh yeah, there we go. I was worried you were going to take it down the stairs. <laughs> yeah. So, l let me drive first. Uh, call you back. Okay, sounds good. See you later. Alright, gonna see this thing drive. This is such a hoot. Like, I've bought stuff from China before, but this is the biggest purchase I've made for sure. 
And this is just, it's so exciting to, to not only get this sort of weird product from halfway around the world, but also see where it came from, how it was made, and, and watch it sort of go through the process of traveling halfway around the world to get to me. This is a fun experience. So apparently the door is too narrow and they're trying to find a way to open it now. Oh man, this is awesome. <laughs> hey Robert, did we get it figured out? Yeah, this is my, 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 my colleague. Hi. I'm driving it. Nice. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. That's the gear shifter? Okay. Yeah, gear shifter. Ah, there's the backup camera. I'm going to drive to a wide open space. Okay, that sounds great. I'll, I'll come along with you. Yeah, you come along with me. Okay, let's see it. The battery died. The battery died. Oh no. <laughs> the battery died. The battery died. Okay. I have, I'm sorry, I have to make the video tomorrow, I think, or, or later today. Okay, that's that's fine. Maybe you can charge it and later today uh, you can take a video of it driving around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm pushing the car back. Luckily, I'm, I'm, I'm only 100 meter away. That's good. Sorry to, uh, sorry to have put you out. No, I'm not sorry. It's my fault not to check the battery yeah always good to check the battery all right so let's let's plan to try this again after uh after the truck's charged how about that yeah 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 okay i'll i'll, yeah. I'll let you go so you can push with two hands yeah so i'm going to hang up now okay that that makes sense i'll talk to you later robert okay, okay. bye bye talk to you later bye-bye oh my god So I knew this was going to be an adventure. This is already more exciting than I even thought it was going to be, but I guess these are the things that you deal with when you purchase something sight unseen from halfway around the world. So uh, I will continue down this adventure and I will take you guys with me. So what I found out afterwards, and I'll just take the factory at their word on this, is that that wasn't actually my battery. That was a battery they had put in because mine wasn't ready. I ordered an extra large uh, six kilowatt hour battery. So they were still having that made and they put in another battery they had lying around so that they could do the sort of test drive with me there. So the plan is we are going to change a battery. Change a fully charged battery. Okay. That sounds like a good plan. So yeah, so we don't have to wait for the hours. Okay, so I'll uh, I'll let you get back there and then you'll just give me a call when you got the new battery in? Okay, okay, yeah. Sounds good, I'll talk to yeah, you then. I appreciate it. Bye, Robert. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Robert. Okay. So how, how do you want to do this? Um, could your colleagues step out and film you driving, um, driving away? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Ready. Awesome. Thank you so much, Robert. That looks great. Yeah. And uh, what's next? Um, I, th I think that's it. I, uh, it was great to see it working. Yeah, we're going to 
to package it tomorrow. So tomorrow I will shoot more about the packaging. Okay, that would be great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So okay. now I'm going to shoot the video. Okay, thank you. Have a great day, Robert. Yeah, yeah. Good. So, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, so I've seen it working. I know it drives. Um, the acceleration isn't quite as peppy as I was hoping for. This is the 3000 watt motor. They said there's a 4000 watt motor available, but it has to be customized, whatever that means. I think what that means is they have to go source it. Um, so I went with the 3000 watt motor instead. I think three kilowatts will be fine for just having fun in this thing, but it is awesome to see it working and so I'm, uh, I'm really excited even more than before and I can't wait to get in this thing and, and get behind the wheel and have some fun. In terms of uh, actually moving to the next step, now my truck is being shipped to the US. Shipping was crazy expensive. If you guys don't know, sea freight prices are like three to five times higher than they were a year ago depending where you're shipping to. So shipping ended up being super expensive here. The truck by itself started out at $2,000. On top of that, I added uh, about $1,000 for the biggest lithium ion battery they had. I think if you start with the lead acid batteries, it's like 300 bucks or something, it's super cheap. But as you move through the lithium options, as they get bigger, they get a bit more expensive. So I went with the biggest one they could give me, which was 60 volt, 100 amp hours, six kilowatt hours. It is way more than that truck needs. It's probably good for between 60 to 75 miles or something like 100 to 120 kilometers, like way more than necessary. But I figure like it's not that much more, you know, 100 bucks here or there for a bigger battery. And I've never thought with an electric vehicle, man, I wish I had less battery in this thing. So I just, you know, maxed it out. Next, the other options I added were the air conditioning, which was like 230 something, I want to say, the hydraulic lift pump, which was another almost 230 bucks. Uh, I probably don't need the hydraulic dumping bed, but like it's just too cool. And again, for like a couple hundred bucks, like you, you gotta add those things in. It's just too cool not to have. You know, maybe I'll do some mulching and, and dump it out the back or something. So uh, all in, my truck was somewhere around, I wanna say uh, three, like 3,500 or so. Um, just for the truck itself with all the upgrades. When I added the shipping in though, that was the killer part. To get it to the east coast of the US where I'm sending it to, uh, where I have family in Florida, it is 2,200 bucks. So that would have been like 500 bucks a year ago, but sea cargo is just insane right now. So it is a lot and it like really hurts to pay that much for shipping. But at the same time, if you compare this to something like a golf cart, a simple golf cart costs you something like seven or eight thousand dollars so i am like well below the price of a new golf cart with what is a much more functional vehicle here you know we're talking um, windows lights air conditioning a truck bed uh, backup camera infotainment system it's just it's crazy how much you get in this truck for what you pay but the point is yeah even if you call it a glorified golf cart it is way cheaper than a golf cart and does a lot more. So I'm super excited about this. Now I'm in the last step, which is waiting for it to arrive to the US. Uh, they walked me through the packaging process. Uh, it was pretty cool to again see like how they are packaging it up. Um, I missed the uh, putting the steel cage around it because Robert said they did that at night after he had already gone home. But um, now it's all packaged up and it is on the way to the US. I've got a few more weeks until it arrives, so I'm gonna head over there and receive it. I'll have to pick it up at the port. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll do there. I might, might rent a truck, might just pay someone to uh, truck it to me. So uh, there will be a little bit more expense at the end there, which is unfortunate, but it's just part of you know buying something on Alibaba. When you go into these Alibaba purchases, you have to know there are gonna be all these little fees and extra expenses that you didn't expect along the way, as well as uh, anytime you import something, there's gonna be all these customs charges. You know, you gotta pay for bonds. Um, you, if you wanna do it yourself, it'll be cheaper, but it's uh, pretty difficult to do yourself if you're not familiar with. So it's probably better to go with a customs broker, so there's a fee there. Anyways, there's a lot of fees as you can see in this, but still you're ultimately getting a really cool product that you just couldn't find from most other places. And it's something that I think has a lot more value 
than uh, you know buying a golf cart or something like that. So uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys found that fun that you can maybe sort of live vicariously through me buying something weird on the internet shipped halfway around the world. Once it arrives, I'll take you along with me further through the journey of experiencing this. Last but not least, before I go, it is time to announce the winner of the book giveaway for my last video. And the randomly selected commenter is... Journeyman. So congratulations. Just let me know which one of my books you'd like. You can choose between DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or Electric Motorcycles. And just FYI, I have a new book coming out very soon. I'll be announcing it shortly here on this channel. So make sure you keep checking back for that because I am really excited about this one. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you here next time.